This is Dr. Johnson. He wants to do an experiment to learn the effect of caffeine on blood pressure. However, he's learned that people do not want to take pure caffeine pills, so he has decided to use coffee. Today, we will seek to answer a question. What is the effect of caffeine on blood pressure? To answer this question, you people on this side of the room will drink two cups of caffeinated coffee, you folks over here will drink two cups of decaffeinated coffee, you will drink water, and you will drink nothing. Thus, we have a well-controlled experiment with three negative controls for the caffeinated coffee group. Are you sure you're not missing something? Yes, of, of course I'm sure. Everyone had the same blood pressure. The treatments did nothing. Are you absolutely sure you had all the appropriate controls? I had three separate negative controls. We can now definitely publish that caffeinated coffee has no effect on blood pressure. That's one explanation. Another explanation is that there's something wrong with your experimental system. We checked the system thoroughly when we put it in place. Everything works fine. Everything worked fine then. But the only way you can be sure everything is still working fine is if you had a positive control. It's such a straightforward experiment. Surely I How don't do need... How do you know that your blood pressure monitor is working? Maybe it's stuck within a narrow range. Or maybe somebody switched the coffee. Or maybe these people are taking anti-hypertensive medication. Uh, okay, I guess you might have a reasonable point, Control Kitty. A positive control is used to confirm that the system being used is working correctly. In this case, something which has already been established as being able to increase or decrease blood pressure. Given that the positive control is known to cause the effect being measured, if a change in blood pressure is not observed, then there's probably a problem with the system being used. What is your positive control, Dr. Johnson? Today, my friends, we will seek to answer a question. What is the effect of caffeine on blood pressure? In addition to the three negative control groups and the group drinking coffee, you folks will be given a drug which is known to decrease blood pressure, and you people will be given a drug which is known to increase blood pressure. Those are our positive controls. Can we do that? Give people a drug which increases blood pressure? I got the appropriate approvals from our testing committee. It's been shown to be quite safe in healthy subjects. Okay, just checking. Okay, this group here, please get your blood pressures taken. There! The positive control is working. They're responding to the blood pressure lowering drug. Yes, these people are seeing their blood pressure go down. And the blood pressure raising drug is really increasing that group's blood pressure. The positive controls do seem to be working, Doctor. That means the system is able to detect a change in blood pressure. So... Caffeine doesn't seem to have an effect on blood pressure. Yes, you can be more confident about your conclusion, since you proved your system was working. The controls worked, but the experiment failed. If your controls work, your experiment succeeded, Doctor. Even if you didn't get the result you hoped for. You are one tough cat. <sighs> you still have so much to learn. A proper positive control is critical to determine if the experimental system is operating when the experiment is done. Positive controls also help give a point of comparison for the agent under study. Without a positive control, if that agent has no effect, the scientist is left unsure as to whether the experiment worked. But if the positive control works and shows a difference in comparison to the negative control, then the experiment worked. In this case, in response to the question, what is the effect of caffeine on blood pressure? No effect was observed with caffeine, but an effect was observed with the positive controls.